Welcome to Electro Online. How do we determine if two planes are parallel to one another? Well, if two planes are parallel to one another, then their perpendicular vectors must also be parallel to one another. So we can say that the perpendicular vector of plane 1 must be parallel to the perpendicular vector of plane 2, which then means that we can write that the perpendicular vector, uh, the perpendicular vector of plane 1 must be equal to some constant times the perpendicular vector of plane 2. So let's try that on these two equations. Notice they're not exactly in the general form. To be in the general form, we would have to move the 4 to the left and write minus 4 equals 0, and here minus 7 equals 0. But they're still equations of two planes. So from that, we're going to calculate or, or get the perpendicular vectors of both planes. So the perpendicular vector, let's call it vector 1, perpendicular to plane 1 is going to be equal to 3 in the i direction, minus 2 in the j direction, plus 1 in the k directions, because these are the magnitudes of the components, well, also the direction, because there's a negative 2 right there, right? But essentially, if you take the absolute value of those numbers, those are the magnitudes of the components of the perpendicular vector. Same over here, we take vector 2 perpendicular, that's equal to 6 in the i direction, minus 4 in the j direction, and plus 2 in the k direction. So essentially, those are the components of the perpendicular vector. Now, let's, let's compare each component to one another. Notice that the component, so a sub 1, is equal to 1 half a sub 2. So if this is a sub 1, and this is a sub 2, the x component of vector 1 and the x component of vector 2, notice that a1, the magnitude, is half of the magnitude of vector 2. And we can see that a sub 2, not a sub 2, I want, let me try it again, I didn't want to say a sub 2, I want to say b sub 1. b sub 1 is equal to 1 half times b sub 2. Notice b sub 1 is negative 2, b sub 2 is negative 4, so you can say that b sub 1 is half of b sub 2. And c sub 1 is equal to half of c sub 2. 1 is half of 2. In other words, each of the components of vector 1 is exactly half the size of the components of vector 2. And therefore, we can write that vector 1, perpendicular to plane 1, is equal to 1 half vector 2 of plane 2. And since we can write this, that means that those two planes must therefore be parallel to one another. And that is how it's done.